Hello you. This is Challenger from Mastertronic, one I've never played before, but got this amongst a bundle of other things, and I thought, yep, I'm not playing that one. It's probably going to be rubbish because it's a really early Mastertronic game, but I'm going to see what it's like. And here we are. And um, here's the cassette still in the case. And um, ah, the wonders of SD cards, eh? <laughs> and make do you wonder why am I collecting cassette? Why am I collecting cassettes when I can load this? I I don't know. It's um it's a strange compulsion, isn't it? But it it does help having when you're wondering oh, what shall I play? What shall I play? Opening up a drawer and going through cassette cases and going oh that looks like, oh I've not played that. That does spark the enthusiasm gland, shall we say, a bit more than just going through a list of. Uh, file names. Okay. They've got a lot of missile silos in this city, haven't they? Hmm. Right, um, maybe I should read the instructions, because this looks horribly complicated. <clears throat> the aim of the game. Space Telex to Marsatronic from Mission Control. Space Telex? If two things... I mean, how damn dare can we get? It's uh, We're in space, and we're sending telexes. I mean, that's like an intergalactic pager. I mean, intergalactic telegram. I just mm. Send a pigeon, quickly. A space pigeon, though, because we're in the future. Mm. Advise all fighter pilots. The tranquility of a distant planet has been destroyed by the invasion of marauding savages. Stop. Savages. They're savages that, can tra that have mastered interplanetary travel, apparently. They have captured the ten major cities and contaminated them with filth and disease. Stop. You must destroy these cities, killing the savages and their deadly viruses. Stop. Uh, okay, so it's a city bomber thing, isn't it? <clears throat> right. Um, but we're not destroying a city because we're evil. We're destroying a city because it's infected and it's and everyone's been evacuated. Have they? Or no? No, it's right. Mm, well, anyway. The invaders' seemingly unquenchable thirst for fuel has left your resources low. Stop. You constantly lose height and must land as soon as possible. Stop. Avoid your enemy's heat-seeking missiles which threaten your very existence. Stop. This is your challenge. Do you accept? Question mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Z thrust, C break, shift drop bomb, or use a joystick in port 2. That's it. It's a city bomber. Didn't look like that from the cover. But there we go. Who can trust covers, eh? Well, we've seen it playing... By itself, let's see how it plays with me at the controls. Is it going to be any better? Let's remember to zoom in because I keep forgetting to do that. That'll do. I'm sure you do love watching the um, lava lamps. Maybe I should do an hour long video just watching the lava lamp and you could watch that instead because I'm sure half the time. <laughs> do you want to watch the videos or do you want to watch the lava lamp? Right. Oh, oh, Vancouver. The aliens. So, so this alien planet is this planet. My god. Right, that was a quick refueling, wasn't it? I've got to take out the... Oh my god. Looks like the post office tower, then. I've got to take out the trees as well. Because they're infected as well, too. Okay. Right, well how am I supposed to... Is the city going to be rebuilt and I'm starting again, or is it going to be... It's kind of like how a child would draw a plane from the side. Oh, okay, we're starting again. Oh, we can move left and right. We have got some dodging ability. Well, I suppose for your 199 for the time that this was made, which I'm guessing is probably about 82, 83, probably.
Come on, hey, there we go. Seattle, that's not it, it's Seattle. We are now landing and taking off at Seattle. Okay. Well, I've cleared one city. I mean, it's not going to set the... Oops. I was saying, it's not going to set the world on fire, this, is it? But, um... It's an entertaining of distraction, considering the hours that I poured into BMX races as a kid. I would probably have had just as much fun, if not more, with this. And I would probably learned how to play better than that as well. Uh, yeah, let's give it one more go. Because we're suckers for punishment, aren't we? Look at the dinky little plane. I suppose I should be going, Look at the dinky little plane! Being really loud. You know that, that's not this channel, is it? I don't know, I'm, just, I'm in one of those strange moods at the moment where I've been watching videos on YouTube and going, why do people watch this? But then I look at my own videos and go, why do you watch this? And I go, well, there you go. Oh, I almost took that tree out. And I done, died in the same way again there. Come on, come on, come on. And fully loaded. <laughs> Think, why don't you go along the ground and blow things up from ground level? Isn't that easier? Those heat-seeking missiles. Or maybe turn the heat-seeking missiles on themselves. They've got all these missiles all over the blinking shop. Think, surely someone at the ground could, like, set them off there. They, I, I, I'm not fully committed to the storyline here that it doesn't seem to make a great deal of sense. And, you know, with them being savages... That sounds very propaganda-ish, shall we say. I'm sure there's a reason these aliens... Oh, I hit that. Damn it. Starting again. No, we're not starting again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite getting the storyline here that um, we're bombing what appear to be American-named cities because the savages have taken them over. Yeah, let's not get into that, eh? Yeah, that's Challenger from uh, Mastertronic. Um, does it give the year? I'm guessing early. Oh, 1984, blimey. Well, I guess that was still quite early, and that was also still a very long time ago now, Rob, even though it doesn't feel like it. And it also does at the same time. Mm. Yeah, Challenger, it's an early one. What more you can, you can expect? Like I said, if it was just between this and BMX races, well, I chose BMX races back in the time, and I spent a long time, far too long, playing that. And I could have been playing this one instead, probably for my money. Mm, don't know. Mm, yeah, this is probably better, but yeah, there's better ones out there still. So let's go find some more, eh? Yes, yes, yes. That was Challenger by Mastertronic on the Commodore 64. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.